Um, okay, so in this last lesson, let's uh, make some adjustments to our renders. Um, so here I have my render, and first of all, let's add adjusting layer um, color balance. Okay, and just slightly change the value here. Okay, and highlights. Uh, uh, okay, and add some blue. Okay. And you can see what it does. It's pretty obvious. Okay, so um, we have here some issue. So let's just get um, spot healing brush. Um, it's pretty neat tool here in Photoshop. Okay. And the next, let's make some a uh, new layer and with screen mode and add gradient uh, with this blue color and pure black okay and change the opacity maybe 25 okay and lastly um, let's go to um, lens correction Um, and add uh, vignetting okay. okay and maybe uh, contrast just a little bit okay And now let's go to um second render. Um so let's add some view outside the window. I just copy and paste this picture. Uh, move it uh bottom and change the size. Because it was way too big and place it in position. And maybe go to perspective and just just a little bit. Okay. Okay, so now let's um uh paint this sky. Okay. And let's bright uh it up. and color balance just like we did uh, on the first render okay and the new layer uh, okay and create um, gradient okay. screen mode oops okay and actually let's select um, okay actually okay Delayed. Okay, and now smooth this edge. Okay, and change opacity twenty five. So here you can see what it does. Okay. And um, um lastly, let's just bright uh, up a little bit um our lamps, okay.
just a little bit. Okay, um, and now um, let's go to the last render and I just uh, add uh, those changes so you can see levels to bright this up, color balance and gradients. color balance and those gradients to make it uh, better um, so uh, if you have any questions please post it on DT forum I'll definitely check them out and trying to explain um, thanks for watching this tutorial I hope you learned something and now we can make your own interior visualization so thanks again and see you soon